Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Today, we're continuing on with our course play tutorials, and today we're going to cover a little simple one, just transfer mode. What is transfer mode? Well, it just takes equipment from point A to point B. Pretty simple. Where that comes in handy is when you have a whole lot of equipment that you need to move from the farm, let's say, to a field, clear across the map for doing a harvest. Today we're going to run up to the top of this map and uh, load up some equipment. We're going to take it from the farm here up to field 34 because uh, we've got some harvesting to do up by the grain elevator. So we're going to do that today and I'm going to show you how to use the transfer mode. So let's go ahead and fire up our tractor here. And we'll use this guy to record our course and then we'll uh, let the rest of the equipment follow it headed on up. So what you need to do is pick a spot on your farm to where you want to start recording your course. And I always use this little point right here. This is Buren Home. And uh, for me, I like to use this little point right here uh, to start all of my courses that leave the farm. And that way I know that this is where all of them pick up. Uh, anytime I need to send something somewhere, I know this is where the start point is. So, and I, you know, I use, uh, like if I want to take a tractor from here and I need to send it down to the cattle pen or to the sheep pen, this is where they start from. And that way I know all my courses originate here. So let's jump into course play. And the first thing we knew is we need to record a course. So we're just going to start recording and we'll just proceed on up the road and uh, record our course. And keep in mind, however you particularly drive your courses, uh, if you're doing an uh, American style map, you want to keep your uh, vehicle on the right hand side of the road. If you're doing a European style or a, a British map, uh, you might want to be on the left hand side of the road. Just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe you're going to have other equipment automated at the same time. I particularly do quite a bit of automation uh, when I play and I do uh, make sure that I leave myself plenty of room uh, for vehicles to pass when I record my courses because uh, you know I may have uh, this guy headed up to field 34 but I might have somebody coming out of another field um, you know hauling grain to the silo at the same time and I don't want them to collide into each other so think about your courses kind of lay them out and think ahead about what all courses am I going to be utilizing uh, that way you can uh, lay them out and they won't run into each other so this course is really simple. It really has a start and end point. You can lavish it up a little bit by putting in a weight point. And, uh, and I'll explain to you why you want to do that in just a second. We're going to be putting a weight point in when we get right up here. Now these are the fields that we're going to be harvesting. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my tractors come over here to the right hand side of the road. And wait for me to move them to the field. So, I'll have it pull right over here to the side. I'll stop right here. I'm going to put in a weight point. And then I'll just pull forward just a little bit more. And stop my course. Okay, so that is the simple course. And we're going to call this um, Farm to uh, uh, is it F34. 438 I believe is what it is this is kind of in the ring in, in the area excuse me of fields 34 and 38 so I'm just going to put 34 excuse me field 34 and 38 and that'll just let me know when I'm looking at it that this is a course uh, from the farm to fields 34 38 in the general area so I'll save that and then I can just move this guy out of the way uh, so he's not here when another vehicle comes up and we can tab back to our farm and we can set this guy up to head on out now why did I put that weight point in well when you go into transfer mode which is right here and you select your course one thing that will happen is is if you just do a start point and an end point there is a if you don't select let me go ahead and select this real quick. Farm to 30, 34, 38. I'm going to select that. And now I can just go ahead and tell him to drive the course. 
if I don't select right here, stop at last point at next trigger, if I leave that deactivated, which is the default, when this guy gets to the stopping point of this course, he'll turn around and try to come all the way back to here, which inevitably he'll run into a building or something like that. By setting a wait point right before my stopping point, he's going to have to pause at that. So if I forget to set this to active, I won't have any problems with him running in any buildings regardless. So it's always, for me, it's a good idea to set that wait point in there because inevitably you're going to be busy, you're going to be doing this, and you're going to forget to click that activate button, and all of a sudden you're your tractor is going to be stuck on a building or something like that so something to keep in mind you don't have to put the weight point in you can if you want to so he's doing his thing i'll tab back through and find ah uh, shouldn't have stuck in that vehicle so long so much equipment to go through i'll go ahead and set this guy up to go as well set him to 3438 tell him to drive the course and he's on his way i'm going to activate that one uh, it's really not going to matter again because he's going to hit a pause but i am going to show you what happens uh, in a bit when that goes on so off he runs and uh, that's simple the combine should be uh, just about up there so this guy i have activated for stop point i'm going to deactivate it And we're going to let him run to the stop point. We're going to let him go to the pause. And then I'm going to have him continue past the pause. And just show you why I put that pause in there. So he's going to get to his wait point. And course play over here is going to tell me he's reached it. And he has. And now I could tab over. I could just select this. Jump in the vehicle. I can take course play off and move him wherever he needs to go but in this case I'm gonna tell it to continue because I want you to see what happens if you don't activate stop last pointer next trigger he'll get to the stopping point and then off he goes he's gonna try to go back down to the farm so that's the reason I put that wait point in there it's just so if I'm stupid and I forget to uh, to click that button uh, I'm not gonna have any issues with it so got him he's here moved out of the way and then our semi will come on up here in just a second and when he gets here um, he'll stop at the wait point course play will tell me he's here and I'm just doing a couple of vehicles a lot of times I have four five six vehicles that I move up when I'm doing big fields let me see you know, like if I'm doing a really big field, I might have a couple of combines, an overloader, a couple of semi trucks. So I'm going to jump into this guy, and now he is set to activate it. If I hit continue, he's going to move on up to the stop point, and boom, he stops. So that's the difference in activated and deactivated. And a nice thing about doing it this way is if you put your wait point there, your first vehicle will come up and stop at the pause. You can jump into him, tell him to continue. He moves forward enough to get out of the way, and the next one can come right up behind it and pause. And then you can, you know, move them to where you need them and place them in the field. So, anyways, quick and dirty. That's uh, transfer mode in course play. A simple little video for you. Helpful if you've got to move over long distances and you have lots of equipment to move. It keeps you from having to drive every single one of them. It lets you focus on something else while they're doing, uh, while the computer is doing the hard work for you. Okay, uh, that's it for today's course play tutorial. I am Mr. Moose. More videos come out every day, so subscribe to the channel to know when they are active. And of course, give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. As always, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.